Hi all, and welcome back to our Skyrim Let's Play Path of the Vampire. Yeah, just to clarify here, I am sick as hell. So, uh, today and tomorrow's episode might sound a little weird. <coughs> Sorry about that. Just wanted to apologize in advance. But also I want to uh, show you a little something. <coughs> a, vent, uh, a Tarantino family heirloom. Yeah, I've done that quest. Come on. There we go. Let's see. I have adopted a couple of children. <coughs> Haven't gotten my <coughs> husband yet, but yeah. Let's see, where are those two cute little ones? They're not what you expect. Hi, Ma. Hey, Marika. Hey, Ma. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, got this note. Don't know. Creepy fella. Black robe. Couldn't see his face. Paid me a pretty sum to get that into your hands, though. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay. Look at that. Yeah, cause she gets. Maisha. Mama, we're playing a game. Do you want to play? Ah. So it's a messenger. Yeah, he's. Oh, no, that's a curry. Yeah, no one. <coughs> People want some tan some leather, so let them tan some leather. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I got two Kashyyyk kits. Pretty uh, spot on, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and they're cute as hell. Mama. Cute. As hell. Look at her big uh, blue eyes. This is a good hiding spot. You need something more? And his green, uh, big green eyes. <laughs> ah, so cute. <coughs> the mod author who has made these two, there's actually two of them. Uh, they have uh, been working together, and yeah, they also made made some clothes. What are you looking at? Yes? Look at the big blue eyes. Yeah, so cute! <coughs> and she's just gonna uh, sit up onto the tree. She likes to sit up onto the tree. No, oh well, um, yeah. Meet Tolf Deer. Oh, let's uh, let's have a look at that letter we got. Um, uh, inventory. Note. Mysterious note. We know a dark brotherhood. Okay. Creepy. In order to uh, be What are you doing? You're too young to drink. Need something? 
I hope that's just water. I went fishing at the lake. I almost caught something. Good boy. Hey, potato. Leeks. Ooh, I'm gonna death bill. Oh yeah, uh, let me just uh, fish out some uh, ingredients from the chest that I remember that we need to deliver. See you in a bit. And there we go. Oh, he's the one sitting up under the tree. <laughs> Lol. Yes, Ma. You need something, Ma? Yes, Ma. Good kids, good kids. Okay, now we need to travel to Rifton. <coughs> because it's there we got the majority of the quests we need to done. We need done. Um, yeah. I don't think you remember it because it's a long, long time ago since we were down there. And Please help me. I'm going to lose my job at the Rifton Fishery. I really need your help. I don't want to lose my job at the fishery. What am I going to do? Bully is a good man. He pays us well and watches out for us. I used to work at the Blackbriar Meadery, but in Darren and I never saw eye to eye. That elf has no patience at all. It's probably for the best anyway. I'm far better at fishing than working in a meadery. My job at the Rifton Fishery is in danger. The owner, Bolly, said that if I show up for work in this condition one more time, then I'm out. I don't mean to do this to myself, but I can't help it. I tried some skooma a year ago, and ever since then, I can't stop. If you could give me a healing potion, I could cleanse this poison from my body and get back to my life. Sure, here you go. Your kindness will never be forgotten. Here, take this. It's all I can offer you for what you've given me. I'm no fan of the sun. It would be better than this. Can I sell you on this fine day? I'm looking for a necklace. Do you have anything with garnets? I have a single one left. Quite expensive, but also quite elegant. Posh. I'm not paying for it. It is our most favorite company. <coughs> okay, weird. Well, the place I was talking about was down here. Let's just hope they are still here. Oh, they're asleep. Shit. Um. You know what? I'm gonna wait over here. <coughs> okay, it's 9 p.m. Okay. Damn. <coughs> Sorry about that. My sniffliness. Biggest row. Hmm. Never been down there before. The BM Barb. Whoa, what the fuck just happened? <sighs> Ours is to smile at your passing, friend. Bercy okay. still refuses to co-op. Just get out of what here. Want to do? I've known Bercy a long time. Even before he opened that rubbish heap he calls a shop. Give him one more week to think about it. And if he still refuses? You have some then nerve coming back here after what you did to Kirava. 
What are you doing that for? If your allegiance lies with the Empire, so, Alan, we haven't much have to you discuss. Have considered my offer? Sorry. Oh, it's you again. What in blazes do you want? What's the matter? I thought you people were used to Sure thing. It's yours for a day. You, Blackbriar or not, say that again. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty. <clears throat> if Maven Blackbriar keeps raising prices on meat, I'll have to resort to watering it down just to make ends meet. I think you've had plenty, Volwolf. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Stupid lizard. I said, give me some more drink, or I'll have your head on a bike. Suit yourself. Talon, my friend. Up for some fishing this week. I don't know, Boli. It's getting dangerous outside the walls. Oh, come now. What's a dragon or two compared to a day full of fishing? That's not funny, Boli. People are scared. Hmm. <clears throat> Let me know if there's anything else you need. Mm. Let's try and get some good night's sleep. Okay. 10, 11. That would be 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 4 a.m., 6 a.m., 7, 8, 9. I think that's good. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I knew this would happen. Which is exactly why I did it. Sleep well. What? Where am I? Who are you? Does it matter? You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelod, hmm? You know about that? Half of Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage. Things like that tend to get around. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old Crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight... Mm, problem. <clears throat> a problem? I don't think I like where this is going. And <clears throat> remain silent. You see, the little Aretino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me and my associates. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. I know. A kill you must repay. You want me to murder someone else who? Well, now, funny you should ask. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. I've collected them from... Well, that's not really important. The here and now. That's what matters. You see, there's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, oh, which one? Go on. See if you can figure it out. Make your choice. Make your kill. I just want to observe and admire. See, I knew we could resolve this civilly. <laughs> A debt owed must be repaid. <clears throat> you understand that? Well, get to it then. Pick your guest and send the poor fool to the void. I'll give you the key to this shack and you'll be on your way. Whoever this is, clearly we got off on the wrong foot. Ah, uh, but no worries. This is not the first time I have been bagged and dragged. Me? <laughs> Are you serious? The real question is, would someone pay to have me killed? 
again. A day goes by without someone trying to cut me in the street. I get disappointed. Ah, Varsha, at your service. Obtainer of goods, taker of lives, and defiler of daughters. Have you not heard of me? Perhaps I will have my people carve my name in your corpse as a reminder. Tell you what, you release me and I promise my associates will not cut you down like an animal and butcher you in the street. It is a win-win. Get these things off of me! Excuse me, what kind of question is that? I'm a woman living in Skyrim with six children and no husband. I don't have the time or the patience to be nice. Do some people look down on me? Have I made some enemies? You're damn right. None of your damn business who I am. If you're going to kill me, just do it already. Edmara is my witness. If I didn't have this hood on right now, I would spit right in your face. I don't have time for this nonsense. I've got a home to keep and children to feed. Now, let me out of here. Uh, is this about that raid last week? I told Holgrim there was no honor in killing sleeping men, but he wouldn't listen. It wasn't my fault, I swear. I've made my choice. Uh, uh, what did I do? Uh, please, whatever it is, I'm sorry. The conniving Khajiit. Cat like that was sure to have enemies. It's no wonder you chose him. Oh, no, no, no. Don't you understand? Guilt, innocence, right, wrong? Irrelevant. What matters is I ordered you to kill someone, and you obeyed. Of course. And you've repaid your debt in full. <coughs> Here's the key to the shack. But why stop here? I say we take our relationship to the next level. I would like Whoa. to officially extend to you an invitation to join my family. The Dark Brotherhood. In the southwest reaches of Skyrim, in the Pine Forest, you'll find the entrance Pine to our Forest? sanctuary. It's just beneath the road, hidden from view. When questioned by the black door, answer with the correct passphrase, silence my brother. Then you're in, and your new life begins. I'll see you at home. Executioner's hood. How? By the gods! When I get out of here, you're dead! Do you hear me? Dead! I... I can hear you talking out there. Please, let me go. I've done nothing to you. I don't have time for this nonsense. Uh, what did I do? I've got a home to keep and children to keep. <coughs> Okay, that was, uh, very interesting. And, uh, yeah. I actually knew that was going to happen, so... <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> well, Serana, it was seen my days of a... <sighs> innocent Kashyyyk. It's now finally over. Oh, but I lost the throne that. <coughs> Let us fast travel to Riften and get our th stuff done. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. Where are their enemies?
There's a lot of death builds out here. <sighs> Sorry about that. Ooh, no need. Oh, that was fox. I was like, what the fuck kind of creature is that? There's a node right over there. Ooh, grass bells. Now let's see if we can fast travel. Visiting the Dark Brotherhood is something that's going to have to wait. Uh, what day, what time is it? 3 a.m. Damn. Oh. If you need any potions or ingredients, let me know. Hmm? Uh, sorry. Just thinking about my experiments. Perfect. This is just what I needed. Here's some gold for your time. Good. My experiments are at a critical stage, and these are just what I need to finish. Here's some coin for all the trouble. Whoa. Ah, yes. Excellent samples. Thank you. This coin should compensate you for all the bother. Three times 750? God damn. Yes. Master Elgrim will be pleased I've restored his stock of these rare ingredients. I feel I owe you a bit more than some meaningless coin for all your diligence. Here. This key unlocks my supply chest at Elgrim's Elixirs. Feel free to take what you need from time to time. I'll be refilling it once every few days or so. Okay. Oh, well, that's cool. It's exhilarating to observe <clears throat> the effects of my potions on the body. Watching the heart stop, the eyes go blind. We're made up of thousands of parts with thousands of different functions all working in tandem to keep us alive. Yet if only a single part of our imperfect machine fails, life fails. It makes one realize how fragile, how flawed we are. You ask why I'm so fascinated? The irony, the irony that the same world that gave us life provides us the means to die. Whoa. My family. All that wealth and they squander it on foolish ventures and political schemes. I was meant for so much more than all of this. I wish to pledge my life and ply my talents in darker circles. If only my mother would let me, I would make her proud. Don't forget to check your supply chest from time to time. <coughs> this place has seen better days, but it's not my fault. Of course not. Incan, you clumsy fool! You've tainted our entire supply of painted troll fat! You have no idea how hard that was to get! I'm sure my mother can compensate you for it. I'll draft a letter to Rhyme. If you could have it sent to Shade and all for me, that would make up for your blunder. I'll make sure it's sent right away. Uh, 
Okay, so is this her chest? Apparently, yeah. Ooh. Nice. <clears throat> Where's my head? I never even greeted you properly. Well, hello. I swear if I wasn't around, Elgrim would forget to eat his meals. How we make any coin at all is beyond me. In fact, I need to arrange for someone to pick up an ore sample for me in Shore Stone. Goodness knows Elgrim won't lift a finger to do it. You would? Oh, that would be wonderful. Speak to Filnyar in Shore Stone. He's got some sort of ore sample he wants us to identify and was willing to pay us well for it. I know how to mix a few basic potions, but I'm nowhere <coughs> near as skilled as a master alchemist. I've picked up a few tricks by reading the tomes scattered all over the shop, but I don't have the knack to pull off half of the formulas. I wish Elgrim had spent more time tutoring me than that Ingen girl. Oh no, I didn't mean it that way. Elgrim can barely put on his own shoes, let alone have the energy to pursue a young girl. He's been <laughs> gushing about how talented Ingen is at alchemy. He'd never say it to her face. That's not his way. I just think Elgrim's taken it upon himself to mentor the young thing. So he focuses a lot of attention on her. When Elgrim said we were setting up shop down here, I told him he would catch his death. The dirt, the moisture, is disgusting. Who wants to spend their life living like a skeever? But that old bellyacre just fed me some nonsense about light ruining his mixtures and being close to the water. Ugh. <laughs> so you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Well, she does have a lot of, a lot of them. Be careful. The road to Shore's stone could be dangerous. <laughs> I laugh in the face of danger. Mwahaha! <laughs> ah, God damn it! Mom! <laughs> nah, that's not, nothing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you can see it, right? I laugh in the face of danger, and then you get a smack on the chin from your ma. <laughs> I'm staying out of this. I've been hearing. How dare you call Bully a deadbeat? If he paid what he owes, I wouldn't have to say anything. Besides, what an oblivion do you care? What's that supposed to mean? All meats guaranteed, clean. My food <sighs> is the best in all of Skyrim. Always as fresh as the day it was collected. Perfect, just perfect. These should help keep my stock fresh for quite a while. And as promised, here's my trade. Hope you like it. Protect yourself right. Buy Meat light added. Nice. Thanks again for the Already know this skill, okay. We're one of the same kind, you and I. I'm glad to have met you. Thanks again for the ice wraith teeth. Looking to stay alive? Why take a chance? Name in Blackbriar. No, develop. My husband Bercy will be the death of me. He spends too much time worrying about Riften and not enough Azura's about himself. Azura's wisdom to you, friend. 
Jewelry with legendary Argonian craftsmanship. Come to see Balaman perform miracles <coughs> in steel, eh? Amazing. These must have been very hard to come by. You've saved my business and warmed an old smith's heart. For that, I thank you. <laughs> Lol. Uh, yeah, but it's not him I want. any time. You're quite welcome here. An amulet of Mara. You're looking for marriage, then? Return any time. You're quite welcome here. Looking to stay alive? Why take a chance? Greetings, honored friend. Could I interest you in some fine jewelry? Safe travels, Landstrider. Okay, well, it's not quite him I had intended or in mind to marry, but yeah. <sighs> I was trying to make an old Kashyyyk family. <laughs> but if not, well, well. Okay. Now that we have gotten quite a lot of uh, quests out of the way. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I know. But those two I can't do. Uh-huh. Rift and Skooma dealer. Cool. But yeah, um, that's gonna have to wait to <laughs> wait to another time. So yeah, thank you all so very much for watching. And catch you on the flip side.